There's something kind of rattling around that I'm mildly concerned about, but I'm overall very excited. <gasps> I've been psyched about getting this since I ordered it. <laughs> this is their, um, oh, I can't remember. It's, um, I think something potions, maybe divination. I'm very excited about it. <gasps> Is this the cheat sheet? What is it? It is, okay. It's a very cute cheat sheet. It has, um, effesines, oh, I can't speak that. Elixirs, that's cute, okay. <gasps> oh, it's a love potion pin. Okay, it's definitely potions. I can't remember what the other subject is. Oh my God. Something is rattling and I'm kind of concerned about it, but I'm going to hope that it's supposed to be making that sound. Let's pull out this. Ooh, I think it is divination. I think it's potions and divination. This little cloth with a little ball. <laughs> a little ball. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. It looks kind of dinky up close because you can see the mat of the uh picture on the inside but i actually kind of really like that <laughs> not that not that it seems mildly dinky but i actually kind of like it more than i thought i did at first glance it's nice weight too it's like a little like viewing ball viewing ball like a little crystal ball <gasps> oh i see something in there <gasps> Oh, it's a little potions jar. It's um, belladonna and knotgrass seeds. Oh, I know what these are, like what's actually in here, but I can't think of it. I think it's, um, I think we might have, we do. I think we're getting the ingredients that go with the um, elixir thingy. Okay. That just like rolled out towards me, so I couldn't help myself. Oh, I have you open for something. Come here. Ooh, it's a bottle. Oh, is it Felix Felicis? Oh, I think it is. Oh, look at that bottle. I don't know what I'm going to set this on. I hope this comes with a stand, to be honest, because I don't know how to display this otherwise, because it's perfectly round. I guess it's kind of flat, but there's no way that would hold it up. Okay. Ooh, hi, baby. My dog is here, too. Ah! Okay, let's go with this one. I'm just kind of pulling boxes out. Is this another potion? Oh my god, it is. Don't bump that, baby. Ooh, what is this one? Did that say, did that say what I think it said? <gasps> Phoenix Tears. Ooh. Very rare, immense healing powers. These labels are very pretty. They're very tiny, though. Oh, it's like a little jug with, um, I gotta be honest, this doesn't look like a bottle of tears. Um, it looks like a, a bottle of a different bodily fluid, but it's very, um, opalescent, which is pretty. It's a little sludgy, I think, because it was outside, so I think it might be a little frozen because this is cold as fuck. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Put that back in there for now. Ooh, so far, this box is excellent. I'm very excited. And I got it so much earlier than I was expecting to. But there, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I don't really want to open these big ones just yet. This is Bezor's. I don't actually know how to pronounce that, but. Ooh. <gasps> There's rocks! Ooh, I love rocks! <laughs> no. <gasps> Look at that. Hang on. I'm gonna move you. Ooh, I love me some good rocks. As any witch does. For being honest. Who doesn't love a good rock? I mean, come on. You gotta appreciate a good rock. Why is this box not closing now? Thank you. 
Oh, I keep looking at this pin sitting over here. It's so nice. Okay. <clears throat> Worms. Okay, I'm going to take this. Ooh, this is heavy. I'm not going to open these just yet. I'm just going to take it out. This is less heavy. I'm going to take a guess. I think this might be like a crystal ball maybe or something. I don't know what this is. It's so heavy. Okay, 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 okay. Scooch the worms around. Ooh, there's a bottle. Mr. Brisbane's Brass Polish and Sanitizer. Oh, it's, I think it's hand sanitizer. It's all dusty from the worms. It's very cold out. Organic aloe vera gel and juice, 70% alcohol, sweet orange and pink grapefruit essential oils. Leading cleanser for all your astronomical... <laughs> no, I said that right. Instruments. <laughs> oh, this is very nice. Oh, it smells amazing. That doesn't smell like orange or grapefruit. It smells like cotton candy. Ooh. I'm not going to try that right now. I'm going to let it thaw a little bit because it also seems a little congealed. <laughs> Okay, I think the belladonna knot grass is what was rolling around in here, which is probably the best. <gasps> ah, it's the book cover. There's a worm in here. Hang on. Ooh. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to get that out later. Get. Jeez. Let's get that here, I guess. Who doesn't need a cardboard tube? It's just a worm stuck in here. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I'm not going to open this right now, but oh my gosh, it looks pretty already. I have to have a, buy a book that fits this. I hope it says which book that fits because I don't remember. Ooh, it looks like a notepad. Ooh, it is a notepad. <gasps> oh, that's cute. It's the same as this, except it's got, um... Recipe, Offician's Elixir. I don't know how to spell that for spell that how to pronounce that for some reason. This potion is used to increase the productivity. Okay, it is Offician's uh, of the drinker. Caution: Do not exceed the suggested dosage. Doing so can result in serious, severe exhaustion. I swear I can read. It's just for some reason this font is making my brain like eh, like fax sound. Fax sounds, I should say. Uh, then there's a section for ingredients, aka shopping list, and instructions, a, 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 aka to do, and then effects and notes, aka just notes. Oh, that's nice. Do you mind? My dog is trying to get in on things. Not right now, baby. Okay, I think that's it. There seems to be a print at the bottom. Oh. <gasps> it's a star map. Is this astrology too? I thought it was just two this time. I don't actually know which way this is supposed to go. I think it's this way because of the mushrooms. Ooh, hello windows. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I think that's everything. Let me pull apart the wiggly worms. Crinkles, okay, um, I'm gonna open the, I'm gonna open the this first, actually. <laughs> How the fuck? How about I just purge the two? <laughs> How about that instead? astrology for the modern age oh my god look at that sheen hello bitch Ooh. i need to find out which book this fits because i need to buy it immediately so i can put it on there <laughs> maybe i can get it cheaper if i can buy it without the dust jacket 
That'd be sick. Where's that tube? I furled it too loosely. Right. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. I love these covers. I wish I had known about this when I first started doing them. Because I definitely would have bought some. Okay. Cool. Mildly unfurled, but whatever. Uh, we'll just take it in here for now. Ah, okay. What do we think? What do we think? The heavy one or the big one? It sounds like there might be styrofoam in there. I think we're doing this one. I think we're doing this one. Which direction do you open from? Hello? What's happening? Sir? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna close this for a second. Their boxes are so cute. Also, I don't know if this changes for everyone because this is the first time that I got, um, that I've gotten this box before. But my owl's name was Sirius. And I gave him dog treats instead of owl treats. What the hell is happening? Oh boy. I'm scared that I'm gonna break it or something. Yikes. Are you kidding me? Why was the thingy here then? Like it should go this way. Oh, I'm over it already. Oh, oh this was heavy. Oh my god. Oh, it's full thing. Ah, I love that potion. Every time someone makes a rendition of that potion, it's so aesthetically pleasing. Oh, it's got a charm and everything. And that charm is kind of shitty, but you know. Oh. <gasps> Four plus, what? Oh, no, I'm an idiot. That's the sign for Jupiter. I'm, an, I'm just dumb. <gasps> Keep the beast at bay with wolf's bane. Pure blood upon it. <gasps> it has the flowers in there. Oh, you can see how fake they are, but I appreciate the effort anyway. <gasps> oh, and it's got a little stamp seal on the top that's a wolf howling at the moon. I don't know if I said it, but this is by Pure Blood Apothecaries. <gasps> See, that charm is that charm is kind of shitty. That doesn't look like a wolf, but like I appreciate the effort put into it. Also, there's a very nice uh, wizarding trunk seal on the back. Is that upside down? That's upside down. Ooh. <gasps> oh. Ooh. I feel like you maybe should have faced the flowers the other direction instead of towards the um, the label because I think they would have looked slightly um, less like you bought them at <laughs> like the dollar store. <laughs> Wait, I'm still scared. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, what's this one? This one is Kate Winslow's. This box is a little beat up, and I'm a little nervous. Ooh. Is this a cauldron? Oh, I think it is a cauldron! <gasps> oh, it's a nice... Oh, this is fucking cold. It's a nice cauldron. I was expecting it to be like a cauldron mug, but no, it's just like an actual cauldron. Oh, I like this. This is gonna be great for like my altar or something. Oh, once I set that up again, of course. This is freezing cold. <laughs> it's also nice. Okay, I'm gonna try the, I didn't put that on correctly. I'm gonna try the uh, hand sanitizer now, I think. It's a little congealed still, but it's fine. Gotta get it going. Oh my God, that smells good. Ooh, I'm smelling the fruits a little bit more now. I'm getting the, like, grapefruit smell especially, but yeah, overall, and, like, the orange scent just a little bit, like, in the undertones, but overall together, it still smells mostly like cotton candy, which is confusing to me, because I can smell, like, just a little bit of, like, the aloe and, like, the alcohol. 
that smells really nice. <laughs> also, that is not overly like drying so far. It could be because it's kind of frozen, but you know what? I'm gonna put this on. I'm going to put this on. If I can find the glass. Mmm. I do like that, honestly. Like, I don't know how I feel. I might, like, change my mind about that later, but currently, I like that. Let's check out the cheat sheet. So, yes. Uh, we'll read the thingy first. Recipe for Ephesians Elixir. Ingredients, not grass, belladonna, which we have both of in here. Uh, fairy wings, two scarab beetles, four sprigs of lavender, crystal infused water, and crystal infused water. The equipment is wand, files, which are these little things, uh, a cauldron, uh, brass scales, silver dagger, and a mortar and pestle. Effects and notes. Efficiens is the Latin word for productive, and if brewed correctly, this potion makes the drinker just that. This potion should not be taken, should not be taken in, okay, taken in excess as doing so will access, did I just say access? Excess. As doing so will cause severe exhaustion. Only one spoonful should be consumed weekly. If you start to feel tired, you should soak a bezoar. I don't know where I put those, the little rocks. I think uh, if I remember correctly, they're actually found in a goat's stomach and their solutions for most common poisons, I think. <laughs> or like involved in like most like antidotes for poisons, something like that. It's been a while. Uh, <clears throat> Bezoar in water from the ocean for 24 hours. That would be hard in the Midwest because they ain't a lot of oceans around me. <laughs> uh, for 24 hours and then consume the liquid. If tiredness persists, then you may need to consume a simple sleeping draught. Um, instructions, preparing ingredients, ooh, brewing potion. I'm not reading all of this because I don't trust myself to actually read it. Okay, the wizarding trunk, potions and astronomy. Oh, it was astronomy, not divination. This makes slightly more sense. It really does look like it should be for like a crystal ball though, I gotta be honest. Um, that makes more sense, because it, it seemed like there wasn't a very even split of things then, otherwise. <laughs> okay. Uh, written in the Stars Astronomy Book Cover, baby! Uh, this book cover is exclusive to Danny at Wizardry Workshop. It was created by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. This book fits the fifth American hardback book. You gotta buy that. What, which books do I have? I have, I have the first three books. Okay. <laughs> I only have the first three because I've been buying them off of eBay. <laughs> because, you know, screw you know who. Uh, Wolfsbane Potion. I can't get over how big this is. Like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, sorry, I'm like reading some of this to myself. The Bezoar box, this is misspelled on here. Uh, Bezoar is a stone that is taken from the intestines of an animal, a goat, and are considered to be a remedy for almost any poison if swallowed whole. Okay, I was wrong. They're not in something. They just are. I was right the first time, but then I questioned myself. I just lost my spot. <laughs> uh, created by Pure Blood Apothecary. They make good stuff from what I've seen. Cauldron planter oh this standard size two oh standard size two cauldron is designed to be a planter to grow any potion ingredients i'm not sure how you'd make this a planter because there's there's no holes in the bottom how are you supposed to like vent it i don't know words for plants i'm not very good. i love plants but i'm not a good plant mom most of the plants I've owned have died. These are currently the longest living plants I have had. Can you, where am I? 
two aloes, two of whatever the fuck those are, and a succulent currently. Okay. Um, so I'm questioning that. I think I'm going to stick with using this on my altar instead, to be honest. Um, Phoenix Tears, which don't look like tears, as I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it looks like something else, but is which is also a bodily fluid. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Sorry. I have a terrible, terrible gutter mind, but maybe maybe it'll less maybe it'll look less like that. It starts with a C and ends with an M. Um maybe it'll look less like that when it um uh, defrost, that's the word that I want, because I think it might be a little sludgy right now. May it's got, it's kind of the color that made me think of that first, but maybe it's the consistency that's really doing it for me. And once it's a little, a little more watery, maybe not. I don't, something to think about for next time, maybe. <laughs> Uh, galaxy necklace, not everyone can make it to the highest tower to complete their schoolwork. Gaze into this necklace and admire the galaxy within to complete your schoolwork from anywhere. Does this also not make you guys think of, uh, Men in Black? Like, this really looks like the Orion's Belt, like, galaxy thing. What episode was that? That was, like, episode what? That movie was, like, the second movie or something, I think? Vial of molten gold liquid. Ooh, it wasn't Felix Felicis. Ooh. I didn't know what it was because that one didn't have a label on it. Uh, each of these teardrop-shaped bottles were hand-blown exclusively for the wizarding trunk. They were beautiful. I have no idea how I'm going to fucking display it, but it's beautiful. Um, where was I? Use this vial. Oh, it is Felix. I'm... It's just non-brand. <laughs> it's off-brand Felix Felicis. <laughs> it's like Walmart or like Walgreens brand or something. <laughs> Use this vial for one amazing and lucky day. Use it well. Bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Yeah, that one didn't have a that one didn't have a label. I mean, you could have just called it like Gold Luck or something. Molten Gold Liquid. Okay, Mr. Brisbane's Brass Polish and Sanitizer. Hell yeah. That's this one, rather. Uh, world's strongest love potion pin. Absolutely beautiful. Also, fuck love potions, just for the record. But damn, if they aren't pretty. Uh, <laughs> not grass and belladonna seeds. These seeds are actually flowering seeds that will produce green and blue flowering plants. Great for your new cauldron planter. Or simply for display. That's what I was... I was trying to figure out what these seeds were because I recognized them, but I couldn't figure out why or, like, what they were. Now I know. Boy. Uh, Fishing's Elixir Recipe Notepad. Da -da -da. Uh, and then Star on the Grounds. This print depicts the view of the stars from the grounds of Hogwarts, presumably. Created for us by... JP Miss Lulcrow? Is that TP? I'm not sure. Is there like a signature on this that I didn't see? There is in the very corner and I can't read that any better than I could this thing. The font that they use is very quill-like but it's also very terrible on my brain to figure out. Uh, <laughs> okay. This is pretty good. I think this means that I'm getting the next one too. Yay! Oh, this is so pretty here. I don't know if you can even see all of this shit that I'm showing you. I have no idea where the camera is on this. I don't know why I didn't just turn the screen around. This is a new phone. Get over it. I'm sorry. Goodbye!